Well, hello, I'm Ken with Kenneth Volta on Hooks, but I'm here doing a stub in for Tractor Time with Tim on the YouTube channel. Um, so we're looking at some new implements by a company called Bad Boy, and um, we're just kind of getting our first impression here. And what I like so far is the Made in USA sticker right here on the front. And um, the, the steel on these is really heavy. This thing is really well made. Um, unlike some of the King Cutter stuff or something you, you see at the, at the farm stores, these, um, like these gussets here, they're, they're bent over so the, and they're about 3 8 thick. They're super strong. This structure is not going to twist up on you if you back into something. Or, um, and it's just a really well built uh, box blade. And they got a price on it of $700, which, uh, which I think is, is really fair for the way it's constructed. This heavy 4x4 four four box tube, it's got four rippers already on it instead of three. A lot of the economies only have three of the rippers on it. This has four. Um, looks like it's set up for Cat 1 with the Clevis style pins, so it's super strong structure there. They say it's rated for 25 to 55 horsepower. So I think this is a really nice entry into the marketplace. Um, we're going to look at a few other things that they're offering. We heard a rumor too that Bad Boy's coming out with a compact tractor. Um, Brandon, we don't know if that's true or when it's going to happen, but we're going to, going to try to get somebody to talk about that maybe, if we can. So over here we have a, a tiller, looks like about a six foot tiller, five foot, five and a half foot tiller, $24.99. Again, this is made in USA. Looks really well built. Looks the, the heavy duty construction, the nice uh, kickstand here so it doesn't fall over. Uh, PTO guards, it looks like it's a chain drive tiller, gear drive, is that right? Is gear drive tiller, so um, oil bath gears, I assume, because I see the vented, vented crankcase there. Yeah, and again, really heavy steel. Everything's folded for strength. Really nicely constructed machine. This is definitely going to be a nice competitor in the market for sure. Will this go uh, reverse time? Is this? We do have. We do. We are going to be offering in two weeks. To okay. So, and to, heard it from the man himself. You are Brendan. Brendan, nice to meet you. I'm Ken. So Brendan says they're going to be meet, uh, offering a reverse time tiller in a few weeks. That's that's great. Weeks we should be, okay. We should be ready. We heard a rumor that you guys are coming out with a branded tractor. Is that right? Or yeah, you're not willing to say I, yet? Yeah, I, I probably don't need to say. <laughs> okay. All right. So Brandon, tell me about this new land plane you're offering. Well, what we have this is the five foot land grader. Land grader. Okay. We offer the five, six, and seven foot model. Okay. Um, this is for doing driveways, long driveways, uh, chat. Uh, I've even had people use it for horse arenas. Okay. okay. It's got uh, angle blades. Yeah, I see that. Very so nice. that it'll roll the material back over. Right, right, right. And it keeps the crown on your on your driveway. driveway. Yeah. Yeah. I see it's uh, got reversible cutting yeah. edges, so this thing will last forever without reversible having to buy cutting more. edges. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the, the replaceable skids. Right. And the whole blade system will adjust from half inch on each side. Okay. You can adjust it okay. independently or you can adjust it together yeah. okay. for your desk. Yeah. We have the sleeve ripper sleeve holes. That's nice. And what separates this from the competitors is most of them just cut this. That's correct. And, and they run, wear and out. Yeah. Yep. They bob We out. sleeve ours all the way through and also keep the water from getting in from the inside right. and rusting right. inside. Of That's them. super nice. And I love these. I love these gussets here. They're not just flat metal like a lot of the inexpensive attachments. They're actually they're actually bent on a press, so they're super strong. You're not going to turn that into a press. It's not going to happen. Oh, this yeah. thing is really good. Half inch lift points. <laughs> See that half inch quarter inside plate? Probably half inch wall tube or a quarter wall tube. Yes, quarter wall tube. Yeah. This is for $900 price. This is a great land plane or land grader. Yeah, absolutely. And these are becoming more and more popular in out doing the box planes. These are the box planes that you, you don't have the material. If you're doing the yeah. driveway, you don't get to the end and have a bunch of material. Right. In a box blade. And there's less learning curve with this than a box blade, too. Yeah. These things kind of just do they their do own the thing. thing. Yeah, they yeah. do themselves. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. That's one inch thick steel, this subsoiler. This one inch thick steel for promo price of $210. That thing is uh, wow. that thing is built like a literal tank. That thing is built yeah. nice. That would rip out something. Yes, it would. Can. Ken, over here. We're looking at attachments, not zero turns. Come on. John Deere can't put a real toolbox on a tractor. <laughs> yeah, that's on a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs>
It's hard to get good help these days. I guess we'll have to go on without him. Here's a nice looking little three point blade and a landscape rake. We'd know more about him if Ken had done his job. Now I hope you know I'm teasing there. Ken and his family have been great friends of our channel since, well, since the channel began. And I hope you guys can see that that's really what this channel is all about. We've met so many interesting and wonderful folks. Christy and I have worked in several industries throughout our careers and never have we experienced anything like this uh, small rural lifestyle industry. People are just awesome. This was one of the slower moments during our meet and greet in the deer booth and Christy was able to grab the camera and get a few shots. We met and talked with several hundred viewers over the course of this show and we've thoroughly enjoyed getting to hear everyone's story. Some would talk about how we helped them make a purchase decision and others would explain how our videos were a distraction from some serious trial or struggle they were going through unrelated to tractors at all. Either way, the result is the same. We found new friends and what more could one ask? Even more, we got to share a cheeseburger and a tractor cookie with a bunch of these new friends at WW Cousins. This was an incredible event. The staff at WW Cousins treated our group like royalty. And yeah, I really do think it is the best cheeseburger in Louisville. I hope maybe you can come out next year. We'll try to repeat this. Only maybe we can fill that entire room. I know it isn't practical for everyone to make it to this site, and hopefully we'll have another chance at another destination sometime. My name's Jason from Pennsylvania. I'm his sister, Dana. And my name's Matt, I'm her husband. We're here because Tim invited us to get a cheeseburger. And we thank him. Yeah. And we thank him for his videos and all the projects you work on and share with us to inspire us and to keep keep doing what you do. We are thankful. And <laughs> you gotta do, I got to do that. got to do the start. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with Tim. Tim. <laughs> awesome. and Ryan Arno from Napoleon, Ohio. Bob here, JD and Mish.